Hello everybody, I'm Rizzo Boy 4. Welcome to the Designer's Curse Chapter 1. It's made by Christian Blanford, uh, or CB Games, uh, on Steam. It is a free-to-play game, completely free-to-play. And, uh, I don't know if Chapter 2 is out yet, but I guess we're gonna find out. Let's start a new game. Let's go. But, uh, if you didn't know, Christian Blanford made, like, Overnight 2. He made... A whole bunch of games that I've played in the past, and I got to see him kind of as he's grown up make more and more games. You know, he's 15 now. Well, 15 when this was made. And, uh, I mean, I think he made it just, I don't know if he means he started on this when he's 15 or that he finished now and he's 15. I don't know. But either way, he's a cool person. Make sure you follow him on Twitter and all that. But, uh, Says that the game was released on July 29th, 2019. The reviews are very positive. Uh, like I said, it's free to play. You can also get on Game Jolt. Um, and yeah, it's inspired the works of most influential horror games such as Amnesia and Penumbra. All right, so in other words, there won't be like, I guess, you know, a lot of action stuff. Press L and B and interact with objects. Tell them rotate, scroll, zoom. Okay, all right. Oh god, the mouse is freaking out. Oh god. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh god. Oh. Okay. <laughs> One, two. Oh, shit. Come on. If you're gonna be like the old games, please work. I hated this mechanic in the old games. Ah, uh, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Like I, always, like I always say, you know, if a game is free, I'm going to charge you different. Ah, I'm going to judge it differently than if I, you know, I'm having to pay for a game, or may, you guys are having to pay for a game, because I'm just like that. And also, you know, he is 15, so you gotta remember that. This is pretty damn impressive for someone who's 15. I'm 25. I can't make nothing like this shit at all. I can't. I can't make, no, make nothing this good. That's all. This is awesome. Peek around corners. I have no clue what the code is. I don't even expect to be able to get out. I probably won't be able to make it. But I'm gonna try. Uh. Hello? Oh god, nope. Oh my god, how am I supposed to remember that? <laughs> Three. We get information. Oh, you can tab and self note. Uh, I can't tab for it. Hold on. I'm going to write down for now. Three, one, four, two, one, six, eight, nine, three. Okay. Uh, how do you expect me to write tab and write that down? Self notes. Okay. <laughs> three, one, four. <laughs> I mean, what would I click on it and go right back to this? Whatever. Eight, nine, three. I can do it quicker on my damn. Whatever. I can. I can just do it quicker. Okay. Two, one, six. Eight, nine, three. Yes. <laughs> Okay. What? Oh god. Uh. Oh, camera. <laughs> oh, key. Oh, um. Okay. Four shot. Um, did I look over here? Yes. Uh, 
Oh boy. Oh! Oh shit. What was that? That was the door slamming, wasn't it, behind me? Doors four shut. No ad, view inventory. What? 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 Find a way out. Yep. Okay. Oh! Shit! What do I do? What do I do? Oh shit! Oh god. Oh god. No! Oh my god, I lived through one hit. Oh god. Run. Run! Oh, come on. Crouch and stay ahead and get in the control room and find the lever that opens it. Yeah, I know. Oh shit. Is he going this way? Is frozen. There. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, oh wait. Wait, 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 wait. Got it. What's in here? Oh. That's for this? Okay. What does that do? Oh. Okay. Christian Blanford did mention, you know, that after seeing some of the areas in this game, you know, some might feel like, you know, you remember some of these areas. I was thinking, maybe he, he redesigned but used some of his old, uh, uh, like, little, like, areas and places in his other games. Can't go that way, so we're gonna go this way. Oh, lion. Hello. Goodbye. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, now what? Oh, God. Wait, what? Oh. 
Oh god, this is gonna confuse me. Yes, Willis and Albert, the key is here. However, you may soon realize that the door to the West Hall above the cellar will now be locked. Oh no, boo hoo. You will stay down and locked here for three days. After all, you've designed the fracking. There's not much I'm going to need from you for a while. If you dare disobey, your friend will be taken out from the East Prison block and straight into the torture chamber, and later you'll be forced to use them as body parts for the creatures. Oh, and if you dare try to escape like last time, and attempt contact authorities, I will instantly notice your absence. Then your family will be dead. I also don't appreciate your comment about the giant window in one of the testing room bedrooms. Yes, I watched them at night, but only so I can quickly check if they're up to no good. I'm developing a new potion for you if you misbehave again. I will temporarily disable the right hemisphere of the brain and you will not remember any of your creatures. Temporarily, I may need you again. I will force you to go through the halls of this house, having to deal with your own creatures that you design yourself, although I don't currently have a reason to put you through this. Don't give me one. After all, this is a curse in being a designer. Oh, damn! That, <laughs> wow! Oh, is that like the end of the, the, the chapter one? Cause that is, that was, that was fucking awesome, okay? That's what that was, that was awesome. Damn, like that realization that, you know, you're the one that's been creating these monsters and all that, and then you get trapped and you don't, like, you, you don't remember it? That's crazy. That's awesome. That's good. That was good. And it ended yet. We're still going. Went to the door up the top of the stairs. I don't know what's going to happen up here, but... We got to find out. Oh, shit. What is it? C-O... Picked up a layer and turn with F. Oh yeah. A1. So C0 A1. C0 A1. Okay. What? Oh. What do those do? What? What? <laughs> Lantern oil. Oh. Okay. Oh shit. Um. That was an amnesia-looking monster right there. For sure. B9. One nine zero so far would be it, right? All right, uh, one nine zero. That work? Yes! 102! I figured the one was right you, so yes! Oh! Hell yeah! Didn't even have to keep going. What the fuck was that sound? Third of August. Uh, initially, I was puzzled by the uh, by the hall outside this guest room being riddled with rocks, and wondered how it could be. The west hall is clearly above ground, but this area on the same floor appears to be underground. It was told this is due to mansion being on a steep hill, which makes sense. 
I do not feel safe. Areas of study are collapsing and filled with rocks and dirt from above. Okay, on the bright side, I put together a new torture monster for a master last week, the Fracken. So I was given a bed. She is perfectly capable of attacking due to the sharp blades in her left knuckles. Unlike the other creature, Spiky, who attacks prisoners with teeth like fingers, However, the woman who modeled the head of the Fracken had her eye removed during torture. Therefore, she may have death issues when attacking and will not be entirely accurate. I gave her the husband's strong legs. She will be fast, though. Do I find it messed up to be taking people's family members in which my master has grudges against and torturing them into horrifying creatures? Yes, it is better than dying. I previously thought so, but now I feel I should end my life. As the fracking came into my room again last night, and I feel I have no reason to go on living. Wow. I mean, yeah, yeah. I can see how you think that, but really, my character, who is the evil person, should be the one thinking that. You know, he, he, he should be the one, you know having to pay the consequences for that, not, not you, but, damn, oh, I see that, I see that, uh, oh, um, nowhere, okay, cool, quit, This is the area below. Ah, come on. What? Oh, God. Hello. Oh, this room. Fracking dispatched. Odor oil below. Apply to buy and close and you will not be noticed. Remember, when you forget to put them here, well, now I'll return the favor. How are you going to cope? Oh, no. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, uh, fucking terrifying. How about that? Do we find some? <gasps> oh! Please! Please stop. Please, please just open. Is it the right key? Oh god! Was this key good enough? Ah! Oh shit! Oh fuck!
Please tell me you can't see me. Please. in the rooms. How creepy is that? Oh god. Oh god. Wait, what? Are you liking that big gap? <laughs> the f <laughs> What? <laughs> what? what the fuck? Oh. Um. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Chapter one is complete. Original music by Miko Tarmia. No for Amnesian Soma. Special thanks. problem no problem I actually love that I love the note when it says this is the designer's curse man that was awesome anyway hope you guys enjoy and uh, when there's more updates and stuff I'll play more but uh, hope you enjoy see you in the next one bye bye